It's time for us to have a conversation about what's going on with Mo Yang. Because I know there's a lot of hurt feelings and I know people are very confused. And there really isn't any need for a lot more drama than there's already been. So I thought I'd give you some facts rather than rumors because rumors hurt people. Actually, I need those shovels if I can get them to load because I'm having trouble getting the game to work. So here's what happened. There was a private conversation among people in Mo Yang about what to do about some pretty corrupt and nasty people who have been doing some really stinky things with the game, with Minecraft, which is not their game to screw around with, really. It belongs to Mo Yang. Ta-da! And what I'm talking about is some really serious stuff. I'm talking about people who are selling packages on servers that are just outrageously stupid. There are some packages that you can get with, like, checked out armor and enchants and so on and so forth. They cost up to $10,000, dude. $10,000. Now, so, uh, most of them, of course, are not doing this. They're a lot cheaper. But Mo Yang's been getting a lot of stuff. Oops, wrong chest. Get, been getting a lot of stuff, emails and complaints and stuff from parents about um, their kids are, like, stealing credit cards and stuff to pay for these really expensive perks that the parents didn't know about. And the parents, of course, don't realize that this has nothing to do with Mo Yang. Uh, this is my house at Pandora, by the way. I'm on the nearest Char server, and I thought I'd play on a server while I'm talking about this because it's a server issue. Um, so they've been getting all these complaints like, Hey, dude, uh, what are you charging my kids for this stuff for? This is outrageous. I just paid you $30 for the dang game. What's all this other junk? Okay, I'm not getting very far, but I'm getting there. Um, and it's been going on for a long time. Let's see. Warp. Resources. And it got to the point where Mo Yang just said, Okay, this is it. So somebody logged on using the new snapshot. This is what I've heard, anyway. That they logged on with the new snapshot. Um... And what happened? Oh, it took a long time for their server to load. And they were like, what? So all of a sudden, you know how sometimes when the game crashes, you get this, like, uh, what would it be called? Like, uh, well, like a crash report kind of thing. And um, instead of a crash report, they said, uh, you're selling stuff, basically. It said you're selling stuff from our game, and it's our property, and you can't do that. Please read your EULA, which means your end user license agreement. And they read the EULA, and they completely freaked out because, according to that, people can't, oh, they can't sell an enchanted shovel or a chest plate or something like that. It's called pay-to-play, and it's a big problem with gaming servers where um, the only way you can end up winning like a mini game, like I could mention a company in particular, that the, about the only way you can make it into the final round and then win the game is to have tricked out stuff like special enchants or uh, you have uh, hostile mobs that do what you want them to or you can blow people up or junk like that. And... Um, so this guy apparently had a server like that and couldn't log in using the newest snapshot because it said, no, nope, you're violating the EULA. Well, there was a conversation on Skype between Mo Gangsters about how they're going to deal with this situation of people exploiting the system. And they've been real mellow. In fact, I would say to the point of being unprofessional about enforcing the EULA, that this is their stuff. They own the sounds. They own the images. They own, you know, everything about the game. And we are not supposed to use it for commercial purposes. You can run a server all you want as long as you don't do it professionally uh, to make an income. But who's going to run a server for free? You know? Who's going to take the time and the talent and the energy? People have lives. They have pets. They have kids. They have parents. They have school. They have whatever, you know? So uh, people deserve to earn a little bit of money for their talent and their skills. 
So something leaked out last night. It was supposed to have been private. It was a Skype call. It was a transcript of a Skype call. And everybody went nuts. They misunderstood it. It's part of an ongoing conversation. It was never meant as a public document. It was just people discussing ideas. It was nothing concrete. It was not any kind of a contract. But people went nuts when they heard, oh my gosh, they're cracking down on servers who make money. And last night, you couldn't even play the game because people thought it would be really cute to uh, do a denial of service attacks on Mojang. And all the Mojang servers went down so nobody could play Minecraft. Which is kind of rank and stupid and childish and not very helpful in my humble opinion. Because why punish everybody because you're mad at Mojang? So, by the way, you notice I'm real hinky today, but I can't help it. I'm going to make this video. How much clay do I have? Oh, I'm filling up. So, there's a lot of hurt feelings. There's a lot of Reddit posts and everything else. There's rumors everywhere. It's not true that uh, people who do YouTube professionally are going to have their stuff taken down. That's not happening. Nintendo does that. Other companies do that. You broadcast your game. You get a copyright violation through YouTube, and they get any profits off of your YouTube video. Mojang's always been really kind of cool about that, and just kind of, eh, you know, let them make money, and it's free promotion for our company. So there's a lot of hurt feelings, and there's a lot of lies, and a lot of misinformation. Here's the bottom line. People have been abusing and exploiting the system in a number of ways. They have created mods where they can hack you use this mod and you can uh, you can hack other people's accounts or the mod itself hacks your account. Your account with Mojang. Your official username, password, maybe even payment information. I don't know. So there's people doing really crummy, jerky things with Mojang's game because Mojang's been real cool and relaxed about stuff. Like I said, probably too relaxed. Uh, in their EULA, they say, we don't like rules any better than anybody else does. Well, sorry, buddy. This may have been a little um, cat hobby of yours that you started building because you wanted a game that you wanted to play. But Notch, it's not like that anymore. This is a multi-million dollar industry. People's lives and jobs are on the line. And um, you are going to have to person up. You're going to have to be the guy. And... Um, take responsibility for the game that you've created. And that means you provide complete, concise information. Can people make mods and sell them? Or is that illegal? Can people make texture packs and sell them? Or is that illegal? Can people um, make skins? What's this? Oh, Why? Okay, so wait a minute. So that was the flower one, right? I'm confused. Wait a minute. Well, anyway, they're doing something here. So how does this impa impact us? Can we can Nirishar have a small server and sell modest little kits to players to help keep the server online? And it's they call them donations, but frankly, if you're getting a tripped out sword, um, that sword is oh poo. Um, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> that sword is a creation of Mojang. It's their graphic. Uh, so is the enchantment. That's a creation of Mojang. So is the anvil sound. It's a creation of Mo Mojang, you know? Um, and I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that's why the Skype call was going on. They were trying to have a conversation about who is this going to impact. Um, will Because if they enforce the... EULA completely strictly, servers are going to disappear overnight. And of course, that's the drama and that's the hype, is that servers are disappearing. And that's not Mo Yang's intent, and they have no interest in doing it. Mo Yang knows people are earning money, um, and that's fine with them. And they could have made a lot more money than they have done. As Bebop Box pointed out, uh, Google approached them and said, you know what, a lot of people are making videos about Minecraft. And if you want to, you can have all the profits from that. What do you think? And Mo Yang said, no. Let the people keep their profits. We don't want to cut out of their percentage. 
They're doing free PR for us. Let them earn a living. That's cool. You know? So, Mojang's tried to be very lenient and tolerant and open-minded and helpful to people who are using the game as a way of earning a living, as long as they're not being exploited. In the EULA, it says, be reasonable. Unfortunately, it doesn't say what reasonable actually means. They need to be a lot more clear. That's why there's so much hard feelings, because it's not clear. And so people are assuming things are going to happen, or assuming there's going to be trouble, or assuming their server is going to kick, get kicked down, when that might not actually happen. But Mo Yang, while they may be good coders and they may be good gamers, they're not what I would call very good at public relations. So they kind of mess this up really badly. And they're paying for it because people are afraid to trust them. Because people have been ripped off so much by so many other people that, of course, they're going to automatically assume that Mo Yang is going to do to them what other companies have done in the past. Promise them one thing and then not deliver. So my best advice to you is to chill. Don't listen to the gossip. Bebop Vox is an excellent source of solid information about what's going on with um, servers, with mods, with... Um, texture packs with everything related to the whoa. Oh, I always fall in this cave. With everything that's related to this game, he's a real good source. He does his research, and I'm going to post some of the links that he posted in his video. And I'm going to link to his video. Please watch it. Um, who else? I wish Mo Yang would be clear and concise and transparent and explain to people what's going on. Because they're really dropping the ball with this because they're feeling hurt and flustered and they haven't decided what they're going to do yet. And this got leaked out before they were ready to present it to the public and it's just a bad mess. So, um, Mo Yang and, uh, Mo Yang is not a good source of information yet. Let Mark IRL and Notch and Dinnerbone and some others have a conversation and they'll get to it. They'll, they're feeling a lot of pressure right now, so uh, I hope they write something that's well thought out and not something that's just like because they're panicking. A zombie? You are too close to me, dude. Oh, a skeleton. I didn't even see a skeleton. So don't listen to the rumors. Do not listen to the rumors. Wait for solid information about what's really going on with the game and uh, I'm getting attacked by a spider, which is stupid. Well, obviously, I can't shoot like this. So let me try to shoot the spider, because I've got the arrow. Um, don't listen to the gossip. Don't get involved in the Reddit drama. Don't get involved in the Skype stuff. Don't get involved in any of that junk. Because right now, all it is is junk. People want to feel hurt. They want to feel persecuted. They want to take it out on... Notch and Mo Yang and Ditterbone and whoever else they can think of. And the people that they should really be mad at are the pay-to-play servers and <clears throat> the mod hackers and stuff who have messed up a perfectly fine game um, for illegitimate reasons, um, for their own personal gain and to hurt others. So I be frustrated with Mo Yang for not being clear and concise and businesslike. That's fine, absolutely. But as far as anger and um, hate and stuff, that is way too soon and should not be happening. Oh, I have to say hi to somebody. Um, so give them time. This all happened last night. Nobody has any answers yet. They will. You know when somebody finds you doing something that they don't think is right for you to do and you can't think right away what you should say? Or maybe you get in an argument with somebody and you say, afterwards you say, oh, I should have said such and such. Well, they're, they're at that point right now. They're trying to figure out what they should have said. Hang in there. The game's worth playing. It'll be fine. Servers aren't going to die. Bye.